Hey guys, welcome to Easy Learning Economics. I am Dr. Kaval. In the previous lecture, we learned that what is production function. Here, we are going to talk about the Cobb Douglas production function. The general form of Cobb Douglas production is y is equal to a k alpha l1 minus alpha. We are going to discuss the Cobb Douglas production function. In this lecture, we shall talk that what is Cobb Douglas production function. What are the properties of Cobb Douglas production function? The Cobb Douglas production function, how it assumes that constant returns to scale. What is the marginal productivity of labor and capital under Cobb Douglas production function? How the labor share in income is equal to 1 minus alpha? And how the capital share in income or production is alpha? This is our lecture plan. We shall discuss all these things one by one. What is Cobb Douglas production function? The production function with power is commonly used in empirical estimation and is referred to as Cobb Douglas production function. The general form of Cobb Douglas production function is like this that quantity it means output is function of a k alpha l beta. So, it means where capital A and small a and b are parameters to be estimated q k and l are the output quantities of labor and capital exponents a and b it means alpha and beta represents the elasticity of the labor and capital sum of the alpha plus beta measures the returns to scale if alpha plus beta is equal to 1 we have constant returns to scale if alpha plus beta is greater than 1 we have increasing return and if alpha plus beta is less than 1 then we have decreasing returns to scale. The Cobb Douglas production function can be explained by the regression analysis by transforming it into logarithms. L and Q it means the logarithm of output is equal to L and A logarithm of productivity plus alpha ln k plus beta ln it means the logarithm of labor. It can deal with more than two inputs. We do partial derivation in order to find the marginal productivity of labor and capital. Uh, what are the properties of Cobb Douglas production function? The Cobb Douglas production function assumes constant returns to scale. Capital and labor are complements. Labor and capital share are constant. So, we shall prove it. If the output is function of capital in labor, Cobb Douglas production general form is a k alpha l beta. We may rewrite it like this that y naught is function of capital and labor a k alpha l 1 minus alpha. Here alpha shows the capital share 1 minus alpha is equals to labor share a is the productivity parameter higher the a bigger the total output uh, if alpha plus beta is equal to 1 here we assume that alpha is equal to 0 0.5 and beta is equal to 0 0.5 that's why the alpha plus beta is equal to 1 if alpha plus beta is equal to 1 we have a constant return to scale. It is not necessary that alpha must have 0 0.5 and beta must have 0 0.5. It, it can be 0 0.6, 0 0.7 and 0 0.4. So, we have constant return to scale. Output is function of capital and labor. The general form of Cobb Douglas production function is a k alpha l 1 minus alpha. So, if we multiply z with capital and labor then the production function would be like this a z k alpha z l 1 minus alpha. So, by solving it a z k 0 0.5 and z l 0 0.5 because that the alpha and beta are equal to 1 and we have assumed that the power of the capital and labor is elasticity of the labor and capital is 0 0.5 and 0 0.5. Z is common and the power is 0 0.5 0 
and the remaining is a k l 0 0.5 by solving it we are getting that z 1 into y naught. So, this is the production function z into y naught is equal to y naught it means so doubling the input we have got the output doubled that is equals to the z. So, it is the constant returns to scale means z multiplied by y naught is the original function is equals to y naught that is a k alpha l 1 minus alpha. As you can see here that the z power is 0 0.5 0 0.5 uh, this is the a k alpha l 0 0.5 that is equals to the y naught. So, marginal productivity of labor and capital now we are going to learn about the marginal productivity of labor and capital. So, production Cobb Douglas production function is y is equal to a k alpha l 1 minus alpha. So, marginal productivity of labor it means d y over d l it means the change in output with respects to change in labor and using the power rule of derivation we are solving it for the marginal productivity of labor by using the rule n x n minus 1 power rule of the derivation we are solving it a k alpha 1 minus alpha 1 minus alpha minus 1. So, by crossing the 1 on plus minus we have the production function is like this that the d y over d l is 1 minus alpha a k alpha l minus alpha. So, change in y over change in l is 1 minus alpha a and k over l alpha this ratio tells that if the ratio of capital to labor goes up the marginal productivity of labor goes up. So, here we are going to find that marginal productivity of capital we do partial derivation in order to find the marginal productivity of capital. So, marginal productivity d y over d k it means that the derivation rule we are applying the power rule alpha a k alpha alpha minus 1 l 1 minus alpha using the n x n minus 1 formula d y over d k alpha a l over k 1 minus alpha this ratio is telling that if the ratio of the labor to capital goes up the marginal productivity of capital goes up it means the capital and labor inputs are complements. Now, we are going to find that in a k alpha l 1 minus alpha what is the labor share in income or production function that is equal to 1 minus alpha how. So, labor share of income means the amount of income that goes to labor in real terms. Labor share can be explained at the real wages paid to laborer in time multiplied by the labor over the real income y. The real wages would be equals to the marginal productivity of labor that already we have found it marginal productivity of labor over income or the real income or production multiplied by L by solving it more the y is equal to as the production function we have known that a k alpha l 1 minus alpha and we are going to find the marginal productivity of labor using the same rule that the marginal productivity of labor is equal to 1 minus alpha a k alpha l minus alpha into l a k alpha l 1 minus alpha the change in y over change in l is equal to 1 minus alpha and uh, crossing the a k alpha. So, we have d y over d l will be equals to 1 minus alpha l minus alpha l 1 over l 1 minus alpha crossing the l 1 minus alpha l 1 minus alpha the from numerator and denominator sides so we have remaining the d y over d l is equal to 1 minus alpha. So, it has been proved that the labor share is 1 minus alpha. Therefore, the labor share is 1 minus alpha in Cobb Douglas production function. Now, we are going to find that capital share in income or production is alpha. How? The capital share of income means the amount of income that goes to capital in real terms. So, that can be explained as that the rental price of capital in time multiplied by the number of units of capital over the real income or the production that has been explained through y. As we know that the rental price of capital is equals to the marginal productivity of capital over y into k. So, a k alpha l 1 minus alpha this is the general form of Cobb Douglas production function and repeating the same rule of the 
power rule of derivation marginal, we have already found this that the marginal productivity of uh, capital. So, d y over d k alpha a k alpha minus 1 l 1 minus alpha into k over a k alpha l 1 minus alpha. So, change in y over change in k that would be equals to alpha a k alpha minus 1 l 1 minus alpha into k power 1. So, a k alpha l 1 minus alpha by crossing numerator and denominator which are similar. So, the remaining thing is d y over d k alpha k alpha minus 1 plus 1. So, cutting the alpha plus 1 and minus 1 on. So, the remaining thing is the change in y or change in k is a k alpha over k alpha. So, marginal productivity is equals to alpha. Therefore, capital share is alpha in Cobb Douglas production function. Right? We can say that the Cobb production function in power form is Cobb Douglas production function. Uh, the general form of Cobb Douglas production function is a k alpha l 1 minus alpha where alpha and 1 minus alpha these are the elasticity of labor and capital and the uh, alpha and beta are equal to 1 when the alpha plus beta is greater than 1 then the, it means dou doubling the input if we double the input we get the output uh, doubled it means constant return to scale when doubling the input we get the output less than double decreasing return when the doubling the input we get the output more than double there would be increasing return. So, in the next lecture we shall discuss that how to determine that the increasing decreasing or constant return using the production function. So, it was all about Cobb Douglas production function. I hope it have improved your knowledge. So, if you have any query or question you may ask in comment box. Thanks for watching.